Hi, this is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. I do want to let you know I started a Patreon channel to help me keep these free, weekly, unique blues guitar lessons going. So let's get right into it. I have a fan who asked me a question, and I think this is a good one for everybody. This is for you, Kenneth. So he was asking me to focus a bit more on rhythm guitar. And so I started thinking about all these great records with interlocking guitars and how to choose what to play behind a lead player and that kind of thing. And I started thinking about Hip Lank Chan. Now, if you're a follower of this channel and you don't know who Hip Lank Chan is or Hip Link Chan is, who he's also recorded as, um, I think you're really going to love him. Just love him. And it's funny, the last lesson I did was on Jimmy Johnson and Hip was probably as opposite as you could get because he just attacks the song. Um, Jimmy Johnson was a lot more surgical, you could say. But I'm going to go ahead and start playing. I'm going to do a loop because I want to show you how these, how to sort of weave your way through one guitar part as another guitarist. Um, Confusion Blues by Hip Lank Chan. This has been reissued on JSP. All right, now. I'm probably going to make some mistakes because I'm really not used to a thumb pick and no finger pick, and we're just going to go with it. All right, I'm going to try it again. From the G, this is in B, from the G, uh, here you go like this. Once again, I forgot to loop it. Oh man, what I'll do is I'll just loop just a little bit now. Two, three, four. Okay, now we got it. All right, so lots to talk about there, huh? Um, I like to call something kind of a boom whack. And, you know, without a sort of good boom whack approach, you're kind of going to do this. And there's no propulsion. You know, the difference between folk music and blues is the right hand. And, and everything has to do with the right hand in terms of if you're picking with your right hand. It has to do with how you pick. Your attitude, the drive, and the rhythm of the music, everything, it all comes down to how you pick it. The main thing is it's kind of like a, so you have a pulse going. You can even try like that. Just notice how I'm sort of muting with my left. And lots of times I'm just bumping into the low E string too, not bumping into it, actually playing it. So I'm going to do click. Or the 
the second one, the whack, is a little harder, right? And not harder, but a little bigger. That gets the whole chord, or close to it. Awesome. It sounds really good on these uh, big dominant seventh chords. F7, F sharp 7. And just leave out the E string. You can play it if you want to. It sounds better to sort of end on the B string. E7th end on the B string. Second fret open first. sort of covering up both strings or just a little E string. It sounds really good with both. So I'm going to just play it real slow. Love is so confusing. Boom whack. Or just boom click. That's, you got to hear that click. Just like that. Chain got happy like on that Cold Chills, which is just another great song in B that I do all the time. I really owe a lot to Hip Link Chain. I wish I could have met him. He was only 53 when he died. 52, actually. So the thing is to make a groove, you gotta really, it's gotta make you feel like you wanna move. So now that I got a little bit of a loop going, and by the way, uh, Dave's leads are just killer on this song. He's kind of bopping it. sort of play different parts of the chord, different tone, maybe add some reverb if the other one's dry, and you can use different shapes a little bit. He's actually doing that over this. And then he's playing the Magic Sam chord, which is leave out the B string, and then you have that. And then of course, this goes great in just... And then, pick and choose when to linger your chords and when to cut them off. Well, how can it be so happy? The day I'm confused. This let them hang. It's the day I was so happy. The day I'm confused. So he's really stripped down instead of, he's more like, but it really works. So, you know, you really got to sit together and find things that are pleasing, but it's all part of either this, a ninth chord, or this chord, or just that. So using small parts of the chord really matter, just like you could do this. It doesn't really quite fit in this, but it's really useful as a rhythm thing. So using parts of the chord in different positions, different tones, and, you know, trusting your uh, instincts. I mean, it's beautiful. I was actually talking to Dave about this session. He says, oh, yeah, we just recorded stuff like one time, maybe twice. <laughs> it's like, okay. You know, they weren't agonizing over this. They just had the natural musicality, and they were working together, and it, and it came out beautifully. So uh, there's a lot more to talk about with uh, Hip Link Chain. Um, one thing he does, which blows my mind, is like, is like, he actually goes up and down with his thumb pick. Usually, like, thumb picks and finger picks are like a piece of the chess 
And it's like a chess piece that only goes in a certain way. And he's going in each way. Like, there's that MCM record, which is like loud as heck. And just uh, last, last night, you know, where he goes. <laughs> So you just have to really relax your hand and so sort of Yeah, it's killer. I mean, so if you can do that with a thumb pick, good luck, man. Um anyway, he was definitely loud and he had some great riffs like that song House Cat off Airbusters, which is probably maybe his best record. It's like He just woke up, had a cup of coffee, grabbed his guitar, and that's what came out, you know. And, um, you know, he's got uh, famous tunes like Call Muddy Waters. And um, he's always doing, like, if he does a slow blues, it'd be like... Let you have it. I love that line that goes, uh, Little Belton is my main man, and I heard every word Jimmy Rogers said. I mean, you can tell this man really loved the blues. I wish he could have, wish I could have met him, and I wish that he could have lived a lot longer. I think he would have been super big time. So I hope um, if you really listen to that song closely, it'll help you come up with some cool approaches for two guitars playing together, and I hope that you have fun discovering the music of Hip Lang Chan. And have a great one. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you knew Hip, please leave some comments in the comments. Uh, I would love to hear from you. Thanks a lot.